A lot of men have no idea how to actually squeeze up the pelvic floor muscles and often think they're doing the right thing, but in my experience, are often doing the very wrong thing. Now, there are a couple of simple tricks that we can use, mainly to do with positioning, so that when you first start your pelvic floor squeezes, you're gonna give these muscles the really best chance to start working from the word go and not to be making mistakes. So to do that, let's go into the treatment room now so that we can have a look at exactly what I mean when I say doing things right the first time. We're in the treatment room now and this is Max. Uh, Max is a fairly young guy um, who's got a very small problem with after dribble and he wants us to show him how to do a really good pelvic floor contraction so that he can make sure that he can empty his uh, urethra properly while he's standing at the toilet and he doesn't have those terrible three drops on the front of his trousers. And this is Charmaine. Charmaine's a sonographer and she's just going to show Max how well his pelvic floor is or isn't moving. This is the real-time ultrasound machine, which is just the same as the ultrasound machine we use when we're looking at babies inside their mother's tummies. It's completely harmless, but it gives us a really good picture of exactly what is happening to the bladder when Max does uh, a proper pelvic floor contraction. Just do a big squeeze for us as though the Queen's walked into the room and you don't want to pass wind. Good, hold it and let go. That's great. Now, this is George. And George has come to see us because he's got a problem with urgency and frequency. Now, George has had a prostate surgery, a radical prostatectomy, about two and a half years ago. And he's just feeling that he'd want to be able to have a little more control so that he doesn't have to rush to the toilet the minute he first feels the need. So what we need to do is to make sure that George's pelvic floor contraction is long enough and strong enough so that he can be made boss of the bladder again. Charmaine, once again, is going to do the ultrasound um, and I'll just ask George to squeeze up as hard as you can for me uh, and see if you can hold it for the count of four. Off you go, squeeze, lift up, hold one, two, three, four, gone. Well, you can see that you did squeeze up, George, but you couldn't hold for the count of four. So that's what we'll be working on with your exercise program. And while we've got you on the screen, um, have a look at the, the white area underneath the bladder, that fuzzy white area. That's the scarring from where you, your prostate's been removed. So now that we know that George can do a squeeze, but he can't hold it for very long, that's going to be the basis for his exercise program. Uh, we'll be working on the number of squeezes he can do, but we'll also be working on how long he can hold the squeeze and train himself to hold on for longer when he feels the need to go to the toilet.